Hello everyone, uh, I'm Dr. Wu. Today we're going to talk about neck problem. Before we start, number one, all our seminar is for information only. So in other words, you know something you might be able to try. Um, we not try to diagnose any problem. We try not to tell you acupuncture can cure any problem. It might help. That's the option you or the information can get. If you really have some issue, you're welcome to our clinic, have a consultation, or ask your physician, whoever, get a recommendation what you should do. Is that fit to you or not? Uh, today we talk about pain in the neck. Actually, the neck problem is a pain in the neck, right? Number one is physically located in the neck. Second one, very hard to get rid of, it, especially in Silicon Valley. We're going to discuss that more today. And our clinic is right in front of this building. It's building 47. That's the address. If you have any questions, feel free to call us. For myself, I'm licensed in California. I practiced 22 years. This is my 23rd year. It makes me feel I'm old, so I trust to try to dress up young. <laughs> uh, I'm a, I have a doctorate degree for acupuncture and orient, orientation medicine. I graduated from China, six years program for MD and acupuncture. In China, they call integrative medicine. And also, I got an apprentice training in China. In China, that's the one really considered as the training for practicing. In school, you learn the knowledge, it's like a car. You know everything about a car. But you have to go to a mechanic shop to touch the car, to learn how to fix it. That apprentice training is the best part of my learning. I have five masters for pulse reading. Four gave me certificate to recognize my knowledge to follow them. One master for acupuncture, one for pain management. So that's a very solid foundation for me. Another thing is I'm a public speaker, as you know, for 11.70 a.m. for Indian um, community, and also 96.1 for Chinese community, and also on Dinin TV. You can find a lot of information how we talk about health, how we present health. It might be a different way from what you learn, what you know, or from MD. But a lot of things do help a lot. If anything we talk about here today, you like it, and you have a church, you have a company, you want some topics, feel free to contact us. As long as more than 20 people, we set up one month ahead. We'll give you free lectures as well. Personally, I believe any health problem, actually any problem in life, start from concept. How you think about it. Does it make sense? So that's when I keep on giving seminars, tell people, this is not something you should do. That's something you should do. In China, people practice over 5,000 years to prove this medicine works. Chinese medicine is the second largest medical system in the whole world. It serves around 10 billion people a year. Make sense? Okay. Basically, I'm a Christian, so I like to start a seminar from the Bible. If you're a Christian, you can read with me. Above all else, guard your heart, for it is the wellspring of life. I personally believe it's talking about stress. We're going to show you more. So people will ask, like, does acupuncture help neck problem? That's the answer in 1978 from World Health Organization. In other words, 40 years ago, they say something. There's muscular system, you see there, neck pain. In other words, the whole world has used acupuncture for help to help neck problem for over 40 years. Many, many research has been done. Now you ask, what is acupuncture? What is Chinese medicine? Put it this way, Chinese medicine at least have three big groups. Number one, herbs with pulse reading. We check your pulse, we tell you one, two, three, four. Like you have a cold body, you have fatigue, blah, blah, like that. Your sleep has issue, then we give you herb prescription. In China, they call herbalist. Second one called acupuncturist. They use needles, you know, poke you, whatever. Third one, masseuse. In Chinese, called tui na shi, massage therapist. Basically, you deal with muscular system. They do massage, they adjust your bone, like chiropractor, all kind of treatment. At least we have three big groups. I divided it to two very simple methods. One is external treatment. Everything's from outside your body, nothing put in. One's internal. So a lot of people know Chinese people like to cook soups to drink, right? They believe they help your health. That's called diet therapy. 
or Tai Chi, you know, slow moving breathing technique. That's internal too. Or you take herbs. There's a chemical reaction in your body. Anything else, doesn't matter what you understand about acupuncture or Chinese medicine, it is external stimulation. What happens, doesn't matter how you stimulate the body, the body will react. If you know how the body reacts and what stimulation you want it, that's called treatment. Just like I can say something, make the gentleman smile, or can say something, make somebody irritated. Make sense? If you know how the principle of the body works, you can make the body smile or make the body piss off. Actually, every single day when you're eating your food, we use computer, you are doing stimulation to your body. Make sense to you? Okay, then from research, or MD's view, how acupuncture works. Number one is strengthening the immune system because the T cells will go up in the body after acupuncture. That's the reason acupuncture can help allergy, asthma, rheumatoid arthritis, anything related to the immune system. Second one, release endorphins. How many people know endorphins? Basically, it's a hormone make you happy. So when you do acupuncture, a lot of patients fall asleep. I woke up like, where I am? Because endorphin release. In Silicon Valley, for everybody here, how many people think you're stressed out? Because you don't have endorphins. <laughs> Make sense? That's the happy pills. Another one is increased circulation. That's when we have a cold hand, cold feet, chronic fatigue, low appetite, low sex drive. You need acupuncture. As long as you increase circulation, it's like money. More money, everything happy, right? Same thing. Last one will be stop tightness, stiffness, spasm. That's talking about pain, right? So as long as you can release any spasm, you can release the pain. So straightforward there. Chinese medicine believe anytime your energy block, so all these things happen. I don't do my treatment based on this one. But that's a proof how acupuncture works, based on research. Now let's come back to the topic today, pain in the neck. In my clinic, after practice 20 years, I found out one thing very interesting. If you have a car accident, unless your neck problems come from car accident, 90% of people's neck problem is an internal health problem Show as external problem. Anybody get it? Unless you have a car accident, 90% of people have neck problem. It's because internal you have some health problem. Show up as external. Make sense? So outside you show as neck problem, but actually when you look at, there's something going on internal. That's what happened. So we discuss one thing, are you healthy or not? How many people think you are healthy here today? Or generally speaking? Okay. In Chinese medicine, talking about health two ways. After I explain this one, they see if you're healthy or not. Number one, healthy. Number two, sick. But healthy have two kinds. Number one called healthy, healthy. What does that mean? You know when you're in college, sleep two hours, have a big party, go have fun, come back is you can take midterm. Your body recovers so fast. Make sense? That's what we call healthy, healthy. Then you graduate. You got to Google, get a good job. You work hard. Five years to promote. You become team leader. One morning, get up. It's like, I didn't sleep well. I'm so tired. You're not like as college anymore, right? Chad Mason called this one weak. There's a difference, right? I didn't sleep well last night, I feel tired. For a week, the symptom is, I don't feel I'm so energetic, but I do not have any pain or severe symptoms. If you give me a two week vacation in Hawaii, I come back, I'll be healthy, energetic again. How many people experience that? You know, I take a break, two weeks later I come back, and better. That's called weak. For sick, also have two kinds. One kind of when you go see MD, MD says, sorry, you have diabetic. Sorry, your disc is out. Sorry, you have tumor or fibroid, whatever. There's a diagnosis there. Blood test, x-ray, MRI. 
structure wise something broke. Make sense? But sometimes the MD will tell you, you know, doctor, you're perfect. But I'm miserable, you know, I cannot eat, I have a painful menstruation, I couldn't sleep, I sexualized low, my neck hurts, and you tell me everything is perfect, my x ray is perfect. What happened to that? That's a functional problem. You have symptoms, but nothing broke. Just like a car. When the yellow light is on, you don't need to change anything, but you might need to do a turn up. Make sense? When the red light is on, 90% chance you probably have to fix something. So the first one, Chinese medicine called Ya Jian Kang, unhealthy, something wrong already, but it's functional, fixable. Second one called sick, really sick, sick. The MD will get involved. Doesn't matter, surgery, drugs, medication, whatever. Make sense? So look at this way, if you're over 30, 40, most people cannot say I'm healthy. The best you are weak. Make sense? If you do have some pain or some symptoms in your body, you're unhealthy already. If one describe your health as a con, money-wise, healthy, healthy people are rich, like in Bay Area, buy a house, million dollars, write a check, no problem. What is weak? Give me two weeks. Let me go to Hawaii, take a vacation, I'll come back. I can get it done, I'll be energetic. What does that mean? Let me save money 10 years, I can get a down payment, buy a house. Does that make sense? Health-wise, it's more poor. How about I have neck pain? You have a bill here already. Every morning you got up, there's a bill. Credit card company send a bill, you need to pay, you need to pay. Just the bill right is like neck pain, come on. You're not able to fix the issue yourself already. Now how about disc problem? Diabetic, stroke, heart attack. It's bankrupt. Does that make sense to you? So Chinese medicine des describes people's health just like money. You keep on spending it, then getting less and less. Unfortunately, most people in your life is going through this pattern. The more older you get, the worse your health, right? Do we have to be like the way? Have you seen somebody 80, 90 years old climb hills, work in the farmers, still healthy? And some people 40, 50 drop dead. Not necessary. That's the thing. I'm going to tell you how you spend your health first. Number one, sleep. Number two, diet. Number three, exercise. Number four, stress. If you know how you spend your health every day, then you know why your health keep on going down. Of course, you know why your neck start to develop problem. Does it make sense to you? Okay. For sleep, you have to have good enough sleep, healthy diet, correct exercise. That's one very critical one for neck problem. Next one, reduce your stress. Okay. For sleep, what time should we sleep? What time should we go to bed? Any comments? 11. How many people go sleep before 11? Wow. How many people before 12? How many people before 1 o'clock? Some people after 1 o'clock. How many people before 10.30? Okay. We have 4 or 5 past the test. You know why? 11 p.m. to 1 a.m., the growth hormone here, you know, Indian lady like to put a red dot here? That spot has a great growth hormone. Release 80% if you are in deep sleep. 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. Release 80% if you are in deep sleep. You know how long it takes for you to get into deep sleep? Half hour. So 10.30 will be the latest time. You didn't get bad in 10.30, you mess up your whole hormone system. What happened is, growth hormone release, the thyroid, pancreas, sex hormone, adrenal, everything follow. Remember, United States, the government closed two weeks. This is the government. Make sense? That's the reason for a woman, if you didn't sleep well last night, people can tell. You didn't sleep well last night. Why? Your face color changed, right? Women are more sensitive to a hormone. But the effect 
It's the same with men. So if you want to ruin your health, the first thing, go sleep late. Second one, how many hours should we sleep? How many people believe eight hours or more? How many people literally sleep more than eight hours? Uh Uh-oh. One, two, three. Your body is like a cell phone. You need to recharge your battery, right? Why will sleep? Recover, right? You don't sleep, you feel tired. But just like a battery, you need enough time to recharge, right? Most people I know need more than eight to nine hours sleep, especially for kids. You don't sleep, you don't recharge the battery. So basically, just ruin out your health by sleep late, no sleep. And I made a joke in church one time, in the health seminar. I said, when God in the night want to bless you, see, I'm going to bless you with the health. I said, no, 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 I don't need so much. Seven hours is enough. I don't want eight hours. Does that make sense? God is blessing your health to recover. I said, no, 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 no. Just give me 95% good enough. I'm not greedy. Many people doing that in health, in daily life, in reality. Does that make sense to you? If you don't sleep, how can you talk about health? Then some people say, oh, I sleep, I dream a lot. I wake up all the time. That's called sleep quality problem. You need a treatment. You have to fix your sleep for any health issue. Doesn't matter weight loss, diabetic, neck problem. You don't sleep, your body won't recover. Period. Then what you're talking about the next? Does that make sense to you? Sleep is number one saving account for you. Second thing for eat, what do we eat? How many people like salad? Fruit? Coconut water? Ice water? Ice cream? <laughs> You're in big trouble. All these things in Chinese medicine is cold. This one's raw. Looks beautiful, right? You know why? Anything like this, if you don't, do not spend energy, cook or prepare it before it comes to your body, either you need to heat it up or you have to cook more inside your body. Basically, when you eat any food, you need to break it down to absorb. For example, rice. Nobody eats raw rice, right? Why you cook it? You put heat energy in it, Chinese medicine believe it, make it rice, so it's easy to digest. This my digestion system is very weak. Well, I'm sick today. I cook as porridge. I put more heat in it. The more you cook it, the more break down. Does that make sense? The easier for your body. Now, why coconut water is not, not good? How many people know Costco has new coconut water? How many people drink it? They're in big trouble. Chad Madison believe that's frozen cold stuff. Ginger and chili, doesn't matter how you cook it, frozen it, you eat it into your body, it's hot. Does it make sense to you? You got to eat ginger and chili, right? Or curry. The tendency or characterized is hot. Coconut water, lemon juice, not. Tea, not. So basically, like every time you're eating, you're spending your energy. Anytime you talk about health, just recharge your energy, how to save energy, period. If you know some way to do it, help you. Make sense to you? So a lot of people you'll find out your eating actually create a problem for your health. In Chinese medicine, we really believe if the fat cannot process in your body well, you get high cholesterol. Rice or wheat, the sugar, cannot process well in your body, you get diabetic. Protein. Your acid go up, you get gout. We believe the cooking pot, your digestion system, from the food coming until it comes out, the whole system cannot process food. You know nutrition is like fat, sugar, and protein, right? If you cannot process these three well, you develop health problem. So try not to ruin the digestion system. And the funny thing is, Chinese medicine also say spleen, which is in Indigestion, 
in charge of digestion. P2 also in charge of muscle. So if you have a chronic neck problem and your muscle is weak in your neck, 90% you have digestion issue. And we'll put a needle there for digestion system. Your neck is going to magic. Wow, how can I feel better? That's the root cause. That's a typical example. Internally, we have some issue developed. The acupuncture channel related area, for example, your neck, show up symptoms. Make sense? We can do massage, we can do acupuncture, make the pain better. If your health issue with the digestion system is not getting better, this problem will come back again, again, again. Make sense to you? That's what happened. Okay, exercise. What kind of exercise do you do? Or what kind of exercise do you should do for neck problem? Any comments? You say, I have neck pain. What should I do? How many people have neck pain today? Just raise up your hand. Do you do exercise? No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> At least that's not a good answer. <laughs> Anybody do exercise for your neck? Not at all. What do you do? Yoga. Excellent. What's the exercise for yoga? For yoga, what motion can stretch your neck? Fish pulse. We're going to discuss in our health class. Everybody will get a flyer today for the health class we're going to have. If you do it right, you should be able to release your muscle tension. Funny thing is many people will check their neck, their back, and say, I do yoga. Your muscle is too tense. Either you are doing not right exercise for your neck or back, or you are doing called performance. Very beautiful posture, but not stretching at all. Make sense? That's one joke I make in my class. The correct stretching will make you sweat in 10 minutes. If you did not get sweat within 10 minutes and you say, I'm stretching, no. It's called performance. Sorry. It didn't work the way it's supposed to be. OK, exercise in Chinese medicine has three kinds. For example, sports. It's fast, it builds up muscle tone, and also builds up tension in your body. So when you have neck problem, do not do heavy exercise. Doesn't matter, basketball, heavy running, jogging, swimming. Can't help, not really. We have neck problem, 90% is because the muscle tends up. You need to stretch it, fight the tension. Does that make sense? So yoga is the best. Yoga makes your body more flexible. That's also the thing. When you do exercise, you should do stretching before, stretching after. Warm up and cool down. Make sense? So if you do yoga and you do exercise, build up muscle tone together, you build up nice body shape, I look healthy, a muscle guy. Make sense? Because both the first two, the blood goes to your limbs. You say, I want better health. You know, I want better digestion, better sex drive, better sleep. Does this two help? A little bit, not a lot. Why? Health, the blood should be coming here. Your heart does not give you any nutrition. Make sense? Only provide, there's a pump for blood. Your lung only give you oxygen. Anything make you strong and healthy is in your belly. Your intestine, stomach, spleen, kidney, liver. Make sense? This is a chemical factory. That's really in our clinic why we do moxa. We speed up circulation here. It's a heating therapy. As long as you bring blood to your belly, if you have a cold belly, your health is going down. If you have a warm belly, your health goes up. Make sense to you? That's also the reason in Chinese medicine we believe if you start gaining weight in your belly, your health definitely goes down. You're getting more weak. We never believe it here is fat. We believe it's more weak and the dampness starts to save up. By the way, if you want to talk about weight loss, talk to our clinic. We did last month's for weight loss seminar. You can order a DVD for yourself if you're interested to know more. Sleep, number one thing. If you don't sleep well, your health goes down, right? Diet, if you don't take, watch your diet, then you ruin your diet, your digestion system. Number three, exercise. Did you do right or you did not do at all? Number four, stress. 
stress can contribute to any health problem in Bay Area. Make sense to you? And what happens, everybody has stress, right? That's mental. It will express through your body tension. It has to. Look at somebody, you're still stressed out. What happened? I have a project. Wow, you look so great. Why? Just come back from Hawaii. Can you tell that? That basically through your posture or your body tension will show up. Stress will have no way to help you. Body tension will do. We can massage, loosen up your body, or you can do stretching. Fight for tension. Make sense? You have to do something with it. So for better health, Chan Medicine believes there are four things you need to do. Number one, sleep. Number two, diet. Number three, exercise. Number four, reduce stress. If these four things are not taking care of it, it will explain any health problem why you have it, unless it's a trauma or car accident. It's nothing to do with your sleep, what happened. It just hit you. Make sense? And when you get more tension, build up the tension in your body, what happened this? A lot of times chronic, gradually getting worse. Number two, your muscles start 10 steps. And your posture starts to show different. In Bay Area, the typical posture is like this. Dr. Two, I have neck pain. We call it chicken position. You know, your head is in front of you. It's not like this, it's like this. If you have a hunchback, it's like this. I'm ready to retire, Dr. Two. A lot of times you look at your colleague, you know, oh, you have a neck problem? How can you know? <laughs> Even teenagers start, start to have this posture today. iPad, you know, or cell phone. Very bad for health. And your range of motion will get a limit. And very common. Ask everybody a question. Why neck problem is so common in Bay Area? Why is it very hard to prevent? Any comments? Complete right. What's the second thing? You don't really exercise that part of the body. Yep. Stress. Stress. What's the next one? Sleep. <laughs> you don't recover, right? <laughs> you guys answer everything already, right? So we look at the cause of neck problem. Number one, posture. Every day, that's my posture, eight hours. I have a patient tell me 12 hours to finish a program, get in the office, come out 12 hours later. <coughs> Not even get up, eat, or go bathroom. <coughs> the boss is very happy, but the body is not happy. That makes sense. Second one, weak muscle because of lack of exercise. Muscle tension did not stretch. Actually, weak can come from sleep issue too, right? If you don't sleep, you're getting more weak. And poor circulation. A lot from diet, ice water, salad, fruit, stress, of course. So ask everybody a question. For neck problem, do you think it's from the muscle health issue or the bone got trouble? Then you develop neck problem. Any comments? Is muscle or bone? Muscle. muscle. Not the bone. Sometimes the bone have bone spur. Car accident. This is the three typical neck x-ray in the Bay Area. Guess which one's the good one? How many people believe the right one's right? Well, it's supposed to be. How many people believe the middle one? How many people believe the right one? You guys are smart. That is some guy just graduated from college. Supposed to be, you know, stern, young and energetic. Second one, chicken position. I worked in Google five years, 10 years. This one, ready to retire. I definitely had one patient retired from Apple, 59.5 years old. He came in like, doctor, my neck hurts. Very typical like that. So what happened, all this bone change? Why the bone, you see the neck, the curve is different, right? Why the bone position shift? Why? In other words, what's the thing decide the neck posture? Your muscle. Here's the spine. That's the neck. 
you will see all the neck bones like blocks, just weird shaped blocks on top of each other, right? They cannot move by themselves. Does that make sense? The bone cannot move. The muscle around it decides where the bone is supposed to be. I can turn my neck to right because my muscle pull the neck, turn to left, turn to right. Does that make sense? So the muscle a lot of time has trouble, but x-ray won't show muscle at all. You only can guess or make a judgment based on the bone posture to see which muscle is tensed up. Make sense to you? That's what happened. So how many people know this lady? Never saw her face? She's a very famous movie star. A lot of time when you have neck problem, it will show up. Unfortunately, we use her as example today. Can you see the wrinkles? Especially for women. You know, skin is beautiful. You take care of your face, right? Chest, you know, sometimes they dress like this. Very beautiful. In between, big wrinkles like scars. You know why? Neck problem. Because here, the circulation is in trouble. You see her face? You know, a lot of pretty girls, you know, doctor, I have neck pain. <laughs> Their face is turning. Doesn't matter, man or woman, when you have that kind of hairstyle, your face is turning, your neck's like this. Your neck's not like straight, it's turning. Make sense? Doctor, my neck hurts. Of course it hurts. One day is not a problem. 20 years, guess what happened? And you will see the face will be one side bigger and one side smaller. Everybody actually you use the iPhone, take a picture for your face. 99% is one side a little bigger, one, this side a little smaller. But if obviously huge difference, you're in trouble. It's because your neck starts shift. Does it make sense to you? So a lot of time when I talk to my clients, yeah, I know your neck problem, where it is. How can you know? It's on your neck, on your face. Everything tell me already. And some people you see their shoulder is like this. Back to my neck hurts. Of course. Because the muscle on the shoulder is not balanced, it's uneven already. Make sense? Okay, neck problem. Let's try something together and see if you have neck problem, what is it? Sit still, straight. First thing, go up slowly, very slow. Anything hurt, just pay attention to your neck. Second one, go down. Normal thing, right? Come back. Then turn left as much as you can. Don't push yourself. If anything hurt, anything block, okay, turn to the right. Pay attention, the left and right is the same or different. Okay, come back. Use your left ear, touch your left side shoulder. Do you feel any blockage or is it a little hard? And do right side. Are you able to do it? Okay. How many people feel hurt? Doesn't matter, go up, down, left, right. How many people feel stiff, blockage? Is it like, I cannot go? Yeah, that's it. A patient told me I cannot change the lanes on freeway. I said, why? I cannot turn back. <laughs> or anything different left and right. You feel that? Anytime you check yourself, with these three is not the same. It's a very basic function, right, for your neck. The most basic one. If you're not able to perform and perform the same, something's wrong. You have to do something. Neck problem come from posture, right? That's what happened. Your neck is not supporting your head. It's like leverage, holding there. How many people use computer like this? You know, cross leg, very special for pretty girls. Coffee in a Starbucks, you see a lady, type computer like that. That's what happened. So people like that on the phone all the time? How about this? How many people have teen teenagers at home use computer like that, a video game, iPad, or cell phone, maybe yourself? How about that? Is that common? My hand hurts, so I standing use computer. Very common, right? How about this? Cute, but horrible. See anybody do this at home? Your wife. 
How about this? Oh, no. Not yet, right? <laughs> Just for fun. For posture, what happened this? There's one theory. It's like the frog. If you put a frog in the hot water, it will jump out. It's like a car accident. I get a hit, my car. My neck hurts. So I go see care products, doctors, physical therapists right away because it hurt. If you put a frog in the cold water and start boil the water, you know what happened? It's a jacuzzi, you know, so good. A little while, it's completely cooked. When you come to see me for a neck problem, 90% chance it's completely cooked. <laughs> we use computer, you don't feel it, right? But here, the temperature starts going up to a point it's completely cooked. Say, Doctor, I have a cooked frog here in my neck. That's called pain in the neck. So if you don't do some don't do something to fight your posture. You are cooking your neck. Make sense to you? That's when I told all my clients, unless car accident, I never saw a neck problem, is acute condition. It's always a chronic condition, acute attack. There's a chronic issue all the time there, right? One day it happened. In English it said the last grass, Break the back of cam camel. Okay, anyway, for neck problem, for, according to the doctor, number one, muscle type, my muscle hurts. Number two, called pinched nerve, my hands nerve, numbness. Number three, called autonomic nerve system, sinus, allergies, vision problem, dizzy, heart, irregular heartbeat, can be from neck problem. Or circulation your brain circulation get affected. Another 